at this point, I can't imagine not teaching. And this is a bit, also this specific age group. They're on the cusp of childhood and adulthood. I mostly work with seniors. And there's that mercurial time that we all have, but we all lose before we know what it is. Uh, when we have the enthusiasm of children, but the capacity of adults. And to be reminded of that on a daily basis, I realize there's a perfect antidote for me otherwise sitting in my study, spending more time with people I've invented than with people who are real. So I've been here a long time and I taught some fiction, but history uh, history is what really uh, keeps me coming back. The way that this life paces itself, I've seen in people who have been here, in some cases decades longer than I have, a particular vivacity, uh, something about, something that used to make me feel guilty about being at the school, which is that it is cloistered from the world. But now I'm actually realizing that this is a place that lives by the rules that it preaches, lives by what people should do, as opposed sometimes to what people can do. And Petty is peculiar within the, within the pantheon of private schools anyway. I, mean, I went to all of these hardcore blue blood schools and being at Petty over the years has made me realize that there's a difference between elite and elitist. And one of the reasons that I'm in New Jersey, and I should preface that by saying the big draw for getting into writing was the thought that I could live anywhere. You know, I imagined myself in Tahiti, you know, with grass skirts and sandals, and here I am, you know, and in the background, I don't know if your sound people can pick it up, is the constant rolling thunder of the New Jersey turnpike. And the funniest and the greatest joke of my life is how I like it here. So it's a combination of the school and the, that proximity to the cultural centers of New York. Uh, Princeton picks up a lot of that, Philadelphia. I never thought I would like the things about Petty that I've come not only to like, but to depend on.